Hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to test another product that was sent to me. This one is something I could actually use, so hopefully it works as advertised. It's from a company called Int PW, and it's, uh, it's supposed to be a multi-USB panel. So you can take one USB-C and you can turn it into more than one. For example, this particular device, which comes with a USB-C connector on it, it has on the front here what looks like two USB 2.0s and two USB 3.0s. And it also has a USB-C output. But that particular USB-C is for transferring to another one of these or some other device that requires USB-C 3.0 connectivity. There's also one that looks like a USB-C, but it's not. It's just for providing power. I think it was uh, up to about three amps worth of power you can apply there to charge something or whatever. But in addition to that, on the back here, you have an HDMI port to connect a monitor, and you have an SD card reader and a micro SD card reader, TF card reader. So I'm going to hook this up and do some testing and see how it works out. Now, I did bring another product I had reviewed in the past, the Driver Genius which is a SD card, micro SD, and another, the, the more professional type of uh, CD type cards that you can put in here. This tested extremely well, very high speed. So I'm gonna put a high speed SD card in, and I'm gonna compare the speed on this one to the speed on this one and see how fast that is. Because to me, that's important, especially when you're trying to take videos and stuff off of the SD cards which I do all the time for my video production purposes. This is meant for a laptop that supports a, a full-featured USB-C connector, which can give multiple port capabilities output, sort of like a, mi a mini di um, docking station, actually. If you think about it, right, you could connect up mouse, keyboard, other devices, camera. You can also get a second monitor. And most laptops already have an HDMI connector output, so this would provide you with the equivalent of a third monitor, if you count the screen of the laptop as being the first. I've also got my high-end laptop from HP, my HP Omen, and I'm going to use this to test it on, since it has the port that should work with this. So let me go ahead and set this up, test it out, and we'll see how it goes. I've gone ahead and attached a second monitor to it here now. So as you can see, we have 1080p monitor sitting over here. It's connected up to the Int Pro. If I disconnect it, it disconnects. If I reconnect it, it reconnects. There you go. I have it in split screen or shared screen. I could just as easily have set it up to extend the screen over to that second screen, or even if I connect up another monitor to my laptop, which it does support, I could have three screens out of it. Now let me go ahead and check the speed of some of these ports. The ones I'm particularly interested in are the SD card and the micro SD card reader. Let me switch over to that. Okay, I've gone ahead and loaded Crystal Dismark on this laptop, and I've put a very high speed uh, SD card, one of the best you can get that's like 300 megabytes per second. Let's see what we get, reading it through this Int PW attachment. Okay, it's done. Not very impressive, unfortunately, but I'll compare it to doing the same thing through a standard USB 3.0 port on here. And then I'll also do that with a USB 3 port on the laptop itself. So I'll do a couple more comparisons. So the exact same SD card, but going through a USB 3.0 adapter. Okay, let's see how this does when I connect it up. The same SD card, the same speed SD card, but connected through a simple SD card to USB 3 adapter that I have. That should be over here is drive E. So I'll put that on there and we'll test it and see what speed we get there. Okay, slightly better on the read, but basically the same exact, exact write speed, so that's negligible. So now let me try the same port on the expansion USB from int pw let's see what that one does now in the third test i took the exact same configuration 
SD card high speed going through a quick adapter to USB 3.0 and then I plug that into one of the 3.0 slots on the INT PW device. Let's see what this does. Okay, well there's negligible difference between this one and the previous test. So the INT PW is not adding any sort of extra latency to the two USB 3.0 ports. I'm not going to bother testing the 2.0, but I do want to test the USB-C port that they have 3.0. I have a device that is using an M2 drive in a very high-speed container, and it connects through USB 2.0. So I'm going to go ahead and con connect that up, and we'll see what that does. Okay, in this final test, let's try this device and see what kind of speeds we get out of it going through the INT PW device. It is drive D, so let me start it. Hmm, for some reason it does not work here. Let me connect it directly to the computer and see if I can get that to work. Here we'll start it again, this time directly connected to the USB-C port on this laptop. Hmm, that looks like it's working. Yeah, it's working, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this. It looks like the actual USB-C port that's uh, coming out of the INT PW1 is not fully featured. It doesn't have the same uh, capabilities as the one that's on the computer itself. So that's something to keep in mind. If you plan on using that port coming out of there, you might run into a similar problem. So with that, I'll conclude this uh, review and uh, I'll put a link down to where you could purchase this if you're interested.